Hello everybody! Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Imperion Galactic Survival. Don't forget to grab your drinks and your tasty treats and let's sit down. So unfortunately I have to post commentate this because for whatever reason the audio didn't record and I don't know if it's because I had my headset on mute or I can't remember why so anyways I'm looking at this footage to edit and here we go so we're in the new updates you notice we got the there's the new uh, your player models that they have it looks like they also added in some a little more animations there if you notice on the gun I think I don't know if it always did that they still haven't added any reloading animations yet here we're killing this creature for some meat because I look at my food and I oh I need some food I just want to make sure that this is turned on and then I want to fly back to our, sh our, our base I think I was gonna take out that drone down there but I figured ah too far we need some food first so then we fly past the ship here and we're gonna go to the new our, our base here it's called new base but I'm gonna rename it I'm not sure what to rename it so if you have any suggestions you definitely you comment <laughs> Otherwise, I'll pick a name in the next episode when I do the base building. But this episode is going to be about flying around in our ship. So, let's see here. We're going to land, and I land a little bit hard because I don't have any thrusters on the roof. Uh, as well, I noticed someone commented on one of the last episodes. I appreciate that comment, and you know, you know certainly... You know, I guess the, the regular thrusters have more thrust, so they're they're lighter, uh, which would provide a better, you will, I guess, mobility of the ship. Um, I basically just re just resurrected this ship as it was, just so that way I could you do those modifications later, just so that you're aware of that. <laughs> I did have plans of putting better thrusters. I just was you're trying to figure the game out as well, uh, because I don't play the game as often as so many other people and. I don't have time to watch other people, but here I'm just you're looking at the fridge. And I filled up on my oxygen, as you can you know, tell. Here I checked the fuel, so I put more fuel in. And then we're we're walking back to our base. The the grow lights are growing our, our plants, which is good. Our base you definitely need some lights, so I'm gonna have to add those here at some point. And yeah, now all I'm doing is shoot let's see here I'm just trying to think what I was doing I was basically I need to make food <laughs> so I was checking the one unit and then now I'm over here at the food processor and we're gonna make some space salami because that is the best for it lasts longest has long as perish time than all the other meats so that's the choice that I choose so I turn all of those into salami and I kind of just look through there to see if there's any more items and then I just dump in some items like the alien parts which is used for medical goods see eggplant parts magnesium powder there's a lot of cool pieces and so I pop the alien teeth in there and uh, yeah and then I'm just kind of looking through all those items just kind of talking about the medicines and how you can craft those different medicines and whatnot which is kind of neat it's good that you can do that and then I check on the crop here I notice the tomatoes grow and yeah, and now, ooh, can I eat these tomatoes? So you can pick them, and the plant's still there. And there's the wheat. I didn't pick that, but I thought, oh, look, some yummy tomatoes. Maybe I'll eat some. <laughs> so, yeah, we definitely will do that. Let's see here. What am I thinking? Good question. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm going to take a quick drink here, so just one second. Ah! Oh yes, the professionalism. Oh. <laughs> I don't really care. I do these videos for fun, and that's how it turns out. So I'm just kind of poking around with the food processor, kind of looking at what I need, and I realize it's really daunting, and it would be boring to look through every item to see what I need to craft and figure out where I collect it from. So I say to heck with it. I'll do a video on it, is what I was thinking. And I grab all the, the meat, and I start eating it. And I throw some more into the fridge here. I do need to build a fridge on our base. That's what's missing. So that's what's going to happen in one of the base building episodes. Potentially the next video. I think that's going to be a base building episode. Because I want to kind of 
you create my base so that way I have a place down here on the on the planet's surface so that we can go up into space and start building up there. Um, yeah. And I kind of look through here. I'm not sure what I need to create. I'm just going through everything that I have, I think. I think just kind of reassessing what I've got. It's been a few days since I played on this. Let's see what else here. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm just looking through the objects here in the in the constructor. I'm just kind of seeing what I can do with all of that stuff. Uh, let's see here. Looks like there's a bunch of other items here. Okay, let's carry on. I apologize for that, but guess what? The family interrupted yet again in another episode. <laughs> it's like there's always an interruption. It's pretty funny. So anyways, so here I'm going through the blocks, and I'm going to kind of build up a few of the blocks for building the base and whatever else. And so I figure we need some of the square blocks, the angle blocks, and some of the inverted corners, and all that stuff, because I want to kind of mess around with that. And so then we go back to our ship, I think, while that's processing. I figure let's go for a little flight. You might as well do some exploration. Then I realize, there we go, we slowly get some height, and off we go. And I'm not sure what I talk about here anymore. Uh, I know it's just about the plane and just how... You know, I need to find some resources, and so we're gonna just fly around and, you know, check around for some deposits and and go from there, right? So, yeah. So enjoy the trip, enjoy the flight here, and and we're gonna try and explore a little bit of the planet to potentially uncover some some mineral deposits and whatnot. Oh, look at that! Some a magnesium deposit. That's amazing. You know. Just what I wanted to find, which is perfect. Yeah, that'll be for ammo and all that fun stuff. There's that drone that's down there that we'll have to take care of at some point. Then there's towers here that we can see to the right. And then we find a silicone deposit, which is amazing because we need that too. Right? That's kind of like the plastics and stuff like that, and the glass and all that razzmatazz. And here I kind of do a sideways you know, movement. I just kind of want to test that out to make sure it kind of allows us to look and view and you know I personally like the first person view for all this stuff because it's just it's it's neat I really wish that they they had the the panels animated so as you fly it animate so kind of like how on the right where you have your speed and all that well that should be right in the panels I think that would look way better and just would make sense there's a copper deposit and I straighten myself out and I continue to fly around. I kind of go on the map just to see where we are and where things are. And, and we carry on. We carry on looking for more more resources, basically, and kind of exploring the planet and how the valleys go. And I see this tower here and say, okay, well, let's kind of check this out here. Let's see how close we can fly, right? How close we can come to these towers and do what's necessary. Uh, yeah, yeah, so here we are. We're just kind of doing a little flyby. I'm kind of attempting fate just to see when we start getting attacked or not, or if I can fly by successfully. Kind of looking at the map, seeing where we are and where all the deposits are. And it's really neat. So like, I like this ability to be able to fly around the planet and stuff like that. You know, in a Land Rover, you could do something like that, but. I don't know. And then now I think here we go up into space. Time to check out space for a brief moment. I, this is more of a test just to see if I can, you know, get out up into space. And it looks like the thruster is enough to get us up and out. And I think here we are coming through the atmosphere. I kind of want to a view outside of the ship, right? And we, we're going, going, going. We can see the planet behind us there. It's pretty cool. And then bang, now we're in space. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I don't really last too long in space, though. <laughs> I kind of just fly up a bit, and, you know, notice, and then I kind of let go of the gas. And then now we kind of you know, start the re-entry process right away. <laughs> and then we're back down. 
so that's kind of it was just a brief test just to see if it, this was space worthy and yeah well it is space worthy and so now I'm flying around and I'm figuring well where the heck is my base <laughs> I'm on the other side of the planet so just you know, flying through and continuing on and hopefully we'll find more deposits as we, we travel along this path and you know, this whole you know, way of, of everything and I see there's a tower over there to the left and then we keep you flying straight like this we kind of get a view of this valley here it's kind of a plains area or whatever you want to call it <coughs> excuse me oh and then I go oh crap here's the the barrier for the pole <laughs> and then I kind of turn around and I was like oh crap there's two towers here I'm gonna have to fly in between them so there's an exclusion zone near that pole as well unfortunately Let's see, we carry on. Moving forward. <clears throat> Man. Let's see here. Just kind of checking things out. And you're looking at all of it, and boom, some more magnesium. And it's been very profitable this whole trip, just kind of finding some raw materials that we're able to, to harvest here. And, you know, to dip into. And, it's kind of weird how that planet moves around based on where... Oh, and I noticed that he's shooting. And I'm like, oh crap. Oh, shoot. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. So that I fly down the other side of the mountain here to kind of hide from that. And if you notice, there was a drone t to the bottom left there, which is barely in view. But I don't think... You know, I didn't notice it at the time, but I noticed it now doing the, the post-commentary here. <laughs> I kind of just do a view around the ship just to look at the ship to see how it's flying. And it's like, yay, prom uh, Promethium deposit there. That'll be important. And then I see where my base is and we decide to head back towards, I say the west because it's to the left, right? But who knows what that really is? <laughs> because you know, normally here, you know, in the northern hemisphere, right, the sun rises in the 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 east and it sets in the west so yeah here I kind of fly down by these to see what these are those are just a couple rocks and then oh yeah more deposits yay and then I see our Titan and I'm like you know starting to get excited it's like oh right on okay so let's fly on this side of the valley instead so this side of the mountain here that's that's kind of separating the valley where our base is and stuff like that. And then I kind of look in here and say, hey, I can rename my ship. And so I, I tried to click on that. And yay. And I want to, or I want to type in Sean Wars Vessel. And so then I end up typing in Sean Wars Ship, I believe. Let's just see if that's what I do here. Yeah, Sean Wars Ship. There we go. Because that's technically what it is. It's kind of like a ship. It's a spaceship. <laughs> it could be. And then I also figure that we need to tear down these these thrusters and and put new ones on and and you do all that stuff. I just wanted to get this operational and, and flying so we could find some more resources to to kind of I don't know to get better at things. And then I kind of talk about harvesting that uh, you know, that vehicle there, the Titan there for materials, so we we could build onto our base. I figure why not some people you think that you can resurrect that Titan I'm not too sure about that just because I've been kind of reading up on some limitations of this game and and you know, just the fact that I don't think you can have a capital ship come down here but I'm not a hundred percent maybe you can have a capital ship come through no idea no idea so yeah here we're gonna land at our base I believe because we did our little trip and I think we're going to do some base building briefly here before the end of the video. And so here I'm just trying to land. and I do a little bit of, of a rough landing, but that's okay. You know, I'm kind of getting the hang of it. And, you know, I understand now kind of how the thrusters supposedly operate. And, you know, I whipped a bunch of thrusters in certain places on purpose for, you know, just to get things going, right? So I look at my fridge. I realize I need to eat some food. So we're going to eat that. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Wish I could remember. You know, then I kind of talk about the base, I think. 
and I, I think about, okay, well, let's do some base building, right? Now I know that those stairs that you see there are going to lead up into another area, chamber. There'll be a door in front of those, so that way we can pressurize everything. I don't know if that's even a thing. And so here I grab the blocks. I figure, hey, let's do some work here. You know, because I want to add a couple more plant plots since these ones are all here and, and so I figure hey look at these these two squares let's let's remove these and let's see if we can put some plant plots here and so that's what we do excuse me for yawning oof I apologize for that <laughs> and so I figure we can place some plant plots or whatever they're called bang and bang and I'm like all excited because that light is still able to and I figure well I can always add another block and another light and we can worry about that another time yeah it looks like that stuff is ready to harvest I'm gonna have to harvest that stuff and learn how to use the uh, the, uh, the food processor so I'm gonna have to make a fridge I think so I'm kinda just looking through my items and, you know the usual thing that I do just kinda like a little bird or whatever kinda you pick through pick and choose and change my mind it's pretty funny so here we go I grab some basic building blocks and I figure hey let's tackle some base building here before the end of the video <laughs> uh, so kind of just talk about the design how I want to you know kind of build you know like walls up and I want to kind of enclose the area and you kind of get it ready for for uh, yeah, for building kind of like a roof with with a landing pad there. And here I kind of just figure out the size of the room and put some blocks where they're needed. And I, th I think, hmm, should I put a block here or should I put glass? So I kind of get that idea. And then I think, yeah, I think I'm looking in here if I have any of the glass ones from before. And I don't think I do. And I'm just kind of double checking quickly. So then I think, okay, well, I think I could make some. And I say we need to look for the non-transparent because the transparent ones don't work too well. Let's see here. Yeah, non-transparent, perfect. Cause that means the one side won't be transparent, which is perfect. Make a bunch of them, and then I kind of check, and it's like, oh, I won't be able to make too many of them. But I'm like, oh well, whatever, you know. Let's make it it work and. Let's make it do its thing, and, but you know, definitely, I appreciate all of you watching. I was gonna, I'm gonna go hit the Titan, and also potentially do some other harvesting of the Titan there before the next episode here. So thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to watch, and yeah, I don't know. Hopefully these are enjoyable. Hopefully you're having a good time with them, because I kind of work my darndest to try and get these out to you and to try and have them come on often enough and to to do to portray the game in a way that I would think to potentially allow other people to buy the game as well so yeah so thank you everybody for watching this post commentary stuff is weird and, and crazy and and yeah and I, I appreciate all of you watching and I'll see you in the next episode all right so yeah bye bye